Hello everyone. In this video, I will talk about a very important patent which is recently filed by Airbus and this is called passively actuated fluid foil and the result of this patent are making very big news in the news media as we speak right now in relation to the picture of this aircraft as it is mentioned on um, CNN website right now on 22nd of July 2019. So before uh, going detail into such design we need to have some theoretical and uh, a theoretical understanding of what is the uh, concept behind such sort of aircraft and what sort of future holds for aviation when such sort of aircraft will come into picture and what are the steps being taken in order to manufacture such highly advanced bird-like aircraft. So uh, in the end of the video I will discuss this patent to a uh, detail so that uh, majority of the viewers can understand. I'm sorry if some of the uh, terms uh, you will have difficulty understanding because they are related to uh, advanced aeronautical engineering. So. The first of all, the very important thing to understand is called the aspect ratio. So aspect ratio is a very important criteria for the aircraft performance, particularly in relation to the wings of an aircraft. So as we can see, this is a picture of a glider and one can easily see it has very, very long wings. So end to end wing distance is very large. And if we divide this distance by the total area of the wings, obviously we will come up with a very big number. So this number is called aspect ratio, right? And this is also related, uh, this results uh, into another uh, criteria of uh, an aircraft, which is known as lift to drag ratio. I will not go into lift to drag ratio, but uh, just consider that a very long end to end wings result in a very high aspect ratio. Similarly, if we look at the picture of a Concorde, we can easily see that it has very big wing area, but it has very uh, less end-to-end -end wing distance. So obviously this has a very low aspect ratio. Similarly, this is a picture of a Bombardier Dash 8Q800 aircraft. It has also somewhat high aspect ratio. Similarly, this is a Piper a Cherokee aircraft. It has uh, uh, a low aspect ratio. So aspect ratio is a very important criteria for the performance uh, of an aircraft. It's related to the speed, maneuverability, uh, so also speed at low altitude and some other uh, uh, performance parameters of an aircraft. So we have to keep this criteria in mind, aspect ratio. So uh, the imp uh, now I come before I go to discuss the Airbus design, I will uh, discuss uh, what we see this criteria in the natural world. For example, if we look at the birds, bird wings also have uh, similar designs as aircraft. So the bird wings can be uh, mounted near, let's keep it as mounting near the head or a little bit away from the head. It will also have different aspect ratio with regard to the length and the area of the wing. And again, as I said, this gives uh, different advantages and disadvantages and different trade-offs. Uh, so, uh, so now I will show you some of the uh, picture of the birds. Yes, here it is. So here we see the picture of an albatross. So as we can see, albatross has a very high aspect ratio because it has very, very long wings, right? So obviously such design is very good for soaring. So it does not need to move its wing uh, a lot and it can soar in the sky for very long time. And this is good for an albatross. Similarly, Falcon need high speed, and it's uh, uh, so it has a it has a low aspect ratio. It's similar to like Bombardier Dash 8, which I showed you earlier. Uh, similarly, uh, the Eagle also has low aspect ratio. It's also good for gliding and soaring, just like an albatross. So, uh, all the birds also have similar uh, design as compared to aircraft when it comes to wings aspect ratio, right? Uh, so we will now talk about what is a winglet, right? Uh, we know wing, wing is the complete structure which is like end-to-end -end structure is called wing and the winglet is in fact the end of an, uh, the end part of the wing is called a winglet or a wingtip, right? In very, very simple terms or a broad term. So this, uh, uh, this portion is also very important in terms of uh, both for birds and for airplanes 
so the thing is that if this portion has some specific is uh, designs uh, very carefully it will result in lower fuel consumption and better performance of an aircraft so uh, if you look at when you sit in in an airplane and you look at aircraft you will find that uh, many airplanes have different end of the wings right or different winglets like uh, airbus a320 has different than as compared to boeing 737 and 777 is different compared to airbus a330 and so on so the purpose of a winglet is to reduce the wake, uh, to reduce the vortices which arise at the end of the wings, and to dispense them uh, very nicely so that it uh, so there is lesser fuel consumption. Uh, this is a very simple way of explaining. Uh, then comes this very brand new innovation, which is the Boeing 777 X wing tip. So what uh, this innovation is all about that what Boeing has done is that the Boeing has a folding wing tip. So when the Boeing 777X flies. Uh, this uh, wing tips gets uh, folded down and the Boeing has a very long aspect ratio so it can glide at high uh, so it can glide and save a lot of fuel and some other aeronautical features it can get and when it's on the ground and it's in the gate so this is folded back to save the space so but the important thing about Airbus is Airbus has jumped 10 steps ahead of Boeing in this regard what Airbus has done, at least in its patents so far and in the conceptual aircraft, that Airbus only not only wants that we just have a folding wing tip and uh, it's quite, it's not a so groundbreaking innovation. So what Airbus has done is that Airbus has come out with this patent, which is which I talked about earlier, passively actuated fluid foil. So uh, this means that the end of the wing tip is moved as the air comes through it this is a very simple way of explaining this concept uh, passively means that there is no motorized or no physical control it's just moving as the fluid comes through it and the fluid in this case is the air so and this is the concept of the airbus and as we can see in this patent uh, this is a very important diagram of this patent so it moves all the way upward and downward is 100 percent similar uh, compared to the movement of the bird wing so this is real real uh, ground baking innovation but we have to keep in mind this is right now as we speak uh, only a conceptual view and it's only confined to the end of the wing tips it's not the whole wing is moving as a bird but still uh, if this structure is realized as we can see here in this diagram that the end of the wings is uh, moving and flapping um, uh, somewhat similar to birds so this will be a very very big groundbreaking innovation in uh, aeronautics but such sort of structures are not easily realizable it's not only aeronautics but also a lot of material science uh, has to be put into picture so that such structures are strong enough to withstand very high speed and very big forces as the aircraft uh, mm, cruises through air so it's not an easy design it uh, looks very beautiful in a picture but it's very very complicated design similarly the same will go for the tail as well so but anyhow airbus has come up with this groundbreaking uh, patent so far and the point to see is when this uh, concept will be realized in reality whether it uh, will be possible in next 10 years 15 years or i don't know in 50 years even but this will be a really groundbreaking uh, innovation if such sort of concept is realized and materialized uh, and then people are traveling in a bird like uh, uh, flapping structures one day so so thank you very much everyone and uh, if you like this video please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you